Should be extra careful in this area. Let's go. you are. I was starting to think you wouldn't show up. You! Hello, Emilko. Long time. Itor, what's going on? Why are you here? Of course. He didn't tell you, did he? You've been used, my friend. Shut up! I'm not here to hear you talk. I'm... You deceived me! You asked me to rescue him just so you could kill him. I didn't lie. Just omitted some details, that's all. I got him out as you asked, so why kill him now? I could have dealt with him if that's what you wanted. Because I had to see him. Why? Because he killed the love of my life. We both shared guilt in that. But she was my wife! Your wife? She wouldn't have died if... What? If I hadn't caught you? If you hadn't attacked me? If she hadn't tried to stop us? If our blades hadn't struck her down? Who's to blame here?
Despite what either of you did, this won't bring her back. It will make me feel better. And that's all that's important to you in the end, isn't it? Easing your conscience. You think killing him would make you feel better? I guarantee it won't. And it sounds like she wouldn't have wanted either of you to get hurt. <sighs> You're right. But I agree with your friend. Let's just pray we never see each other again. Why, you? Let him go. You made the right choice here. Sometimes we cannot make up for the mistakes of our past. Sometimes we need to move on from the past, like I did from Kefalonia.
So now they have people watch us get punished. That's a different kind of shame. I'm not here to watch. I just saw you by chance. What you saw was a man who paid his master for freedom, but is being kept a slave. You can do that? My master gave me a price for my freedom, and I saved until I had enough. Now that I've given him the drachmi, he pretends as if the deal never existed. That isn't right. Let me talk to him for you. Really? You do that? My name is Phaedon. I don't know who you are, but surely you were sent by the gods. They must have heard my prayers. They did, and you deserve their help. I can sense something in you. You're special. I like to think so. Gods or not, I'm grateful. My master should be near the silver mine. He's likely overseeing other slaves like myself. Have you always been a slave? Since my youth. I was in the wrong place and born to the wrong family. And you just now got enough to buy your freedom. More like I found a master who was willing to give me that sort of deal. I should have known he'd lie. Do you often get whipped like that? More than you know. What did you do? I don't always know. Not working fast enough, looking at someone wrong, ask... I'll talk to your master and make sure he listens. He's not really the listening type. He will be with me. You look strong. I could always use more people to keep the slaves in line if you're looking for work. I'm already working. I'm here about one of your slaves, Fedon. As if I know their names. You're wasting my time. I shouldn't even need to be here. You're the one wasting my time. Ha! <laughs> Nobody has spoken to me like that in quite a while. Spit it out while you're still entertaining. Fathom paid you for his freedom. Hmm. Do something for me, and... What is it? There's a woman I'd like you to kill. It'll leave her family to fend for themselves. But the cult of Cosmos needs it done. You're a member of the cult? If that's true, then you know who I am. You're smarter than they make you out to be, Eagle Bearer. Tell me why I shouldn't just kill you now. You could. Of course, if I'm killed, the slave stays that way. And I'm the only one who knows where his papers are. Most people prefer to keep their cult status a secret. You can't do a thing about it if you want to help whatever his name is. Also, it adds a bit more fun to the situation, don't you think? Fedon said you already broke your promise once. This better not be another of those times. Look around. I have plenty of slaves. ...in exchange for the woman's... Why does this woman need to die? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you needed to know that. Wait, you don't. I'll be on my way. Kill the woman or not, it's your choice. But if you want your slave friend to go free, it's the only way. One person's freedom is another's demise. Cassandra! What chance that we should meet here? It doesn't really feel like chance. Ah, so you wish for today's topic to be about fate? No, not really. Good, because I had another in mind. <laughs> Attica is large, yet fate keeps bringing us together. Ah, you're trying to bring us back to fate once again. I won't let you avoid answering my questions, though. So how much did you overhear? Oh, all of it. You have a difficult choice to make, clearly. How much is the freedom of one person worth? There's 
no difference between one person and another. We all take our first breath the same way. But are the breaths you take equal to my own? Would you not say the breath of Pericles is put to better use than that of someone in prison? It doesn't matter which two people you compare. Politician to a child? An interesting view. I think I've said enough. Ah, you're, you're right. I know you are busy and your mind is weary. That does sound like me. Go now. It's been an honor having these conversations with you. You too, Socrates.
I kill her, Fedor goes free. But that means Odessa dies, and I help the cult. Nothing gets past the eyes of Cosmos. <laughs> 